I got my copy of the X Plus Defo Real Godzilla 1967 from Hobby Link Japan. Check out the Shin Rob Jira and Hobby Link Japan affiliate link as linked in the description and the comment section down below, as every purchase made with that link helps this channel out. And like last time, if this guy is still in stock, I will include a purchase link to him as well. What's going on there, friends and neighbors? Welcome back yet again for the third time this week. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I also love this box because it's got the black printing on the cardboard. You've heard me say this how many times this year? Garage Toy, Bandai Namco, Godzilla 1967. The Battle for Monster Island, Son of Godzilla, I think that says. Same ish kabibble on this side. Same ish kabibble on that side. Bunch of stuff on the back over me. Godzilla 1967. And that's it. Ah, there he is. Frog Goji. Musuko Goji, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Musuko. Or simply Godzilla 1967 from Son of Godzilla. One of the more less appreciated designs from the Showa era, I personally think, finally makes its way to the Defo Real line, and I gotta say, this man is ugly. But I love him. Look at those bulbous eyes and those gigantic eyebrows. That's just fantastic. You got the little pug Goji nose going on over there, and the skin. The skin is something I really want to talk about with this release, as the skin really gives off this degrading rubber suit feeling to it. There's certain parts on this figure where it just looks like aging latex almost, and I really, really like that. I think X Plus really nailed that overall feeling for this release. And while it's mostly felt and seen on the face, it can be felt and seen on other areas of the figure as well. But anyway, just look at those eyes. Those big marble-esque eyes. Oh my god. The little paint shadoozling that X Plus did on Godzilla's eyelids over here is really, really nice. Like, this matches the suit to a friggin' T, and it's not just over here, either. We're even going to get that on the upper parts of the eyelids as well. Just fantastic. Really enjoying the glossier look of the eyeballs as well. And as you can see, somewhat peeking out of his mouth over here, you can see that Godzilla's got a full row of teeth in there and they're fully painted. And you can actually see some minor paint over here along Godzilla's lips. Just fantastic. Now I'm not sure if there was a Rick exclusive release of this guy, but if there was, there should be pictures popping up here. And if there wasn't, I guess I'll just throw something random up in there, like comparisons to the suit and such. While I do love this release quite a lot, I am a little bummed that he didn't have at least a little bit more of an open mouth. I'm just so curious as to what it looks like in there. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a friggin' mouth. Don't lose your hair over it, Rob. But curiosity is coming knocking, and I just wanna know. Yeah. I know I already touched on the skin before, but dude, would you look at this? Should stop calling this guy Frog Goji and start calling him Moon Rock Goji because dude's head is... It looks like a rock. <laughs> that is just awesome. I love how the skin texturing differentiates from the head to the neck and then moving into the back. Speaking of which, God Godzilla's dorsal fins are going to be highlighted by this very, um, oatmeal looking tan. For whatever reason, that paint really didn't carry over to the other side, which is a tad upsetting, but for the most part, Godzilla's dorsal fins are just... wow. Seriously, these things look like a demonic honeycomb from Wyoming? Wisconsin. Hell. And I really love how the dorsal fins just overlap one another. Look at that, they don't go straight down in a line, they're actually swaying. Another lovely detail of the suit further recreated in the Defo Real line. And I really like how the further you move down on this figure, you can see that Godzilla is a bit on the dirtier side. You can see it on his thighs, on his feet, on the underside of his tail, even a little bit all over his tail at some points. Fighting oversized irradiated insects isn't a clean job. And you can tell this isn't Godzilla's skin either because just look at the bottom of his feet. Well, near the bottom of his feet. It looks like he stepped in mud. And you're going to see that painted on detail in between the toes over here, on the opposite foot, in between the toes on the opposite foot, and on the opposite side of the opposite foot. And the more telling aspect is just looking at the bottom of Godzilla's feet. Detail with pink 
fresh bristle it almost looks like and then all that stuff moving in between his goji legs through his goji grundle to the bottom of his tail look at that that is awesome that is one filthy underside to a tail if i'd ever seen one and i love it you know ever so often will we get a variant or a godzilla figure overall where godzilla just kind of looks dirty i mean i know we got that one emergence version of an sh monster arts figure some years ago and that's cool and all but damn this man is dirty but screw personal hygiene let's take a look at some of the details on the underside of godzilla's neck and oofa that looks great just absolutely lovely i love it i love it i love it this guy might not be as extravagant in design as titanosaurus but to say he doesn't hold some very interesting and cool looking details is just an absolute lie and i will absolutely not stand for it take a gander at goji's claws over here beautifully painted and beautifully detailed Man, I feel like no matter what angle I end up showing off on camera, there's just something new to see. Granted, by new, I mean little shades of that brownish mud-looking color. Because I'm actually only now just realizing that it's on the fingers of this hand over here. Damn. I love how this thing came out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Back down to the toes to focus on the toenail paint over here. Very nicely done, I'd say. A little messy on that toe right there, but for the most part, they look like toes. They do the toe thing. They're yellow, they're not white. They've got a good aged look on them, and I dig it. Honestly, next to Godzilla's hamburger helper looking ass head, I think the dorsal fins are probably my favorite part about this release. I don't know why, but the fact that they're uneven and weaving within each other just looks cool to me. Godzilla's dorsal fins got really flimsy, so whenever he moved, they'd kind of like weave with him, and I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty cool, and it's nice to see something like that translated into a figure like this. It's cool. It is. It'd be an interesting little inclusion for some more Showa-era SH Monster Arts figures. Can you imagine like little hinges on the dorsal fins? That'd be nutty. I don't know if that would work out too well, but yeah. So I feel like I didn't cover this before, but the dorsal fins at the base of Godzilla's tail moving into Godzilla's tail as a whole. They're all detailed. They're all painted to some extent. And the rest of Godzilla's tail looks really nice. Honestly, this whole friggin' figure looks really nice. And the further you bring the figure from the camera, or your eyeballs, whichever or, I kind of feel less crazy about calling this like mud on Godzilla's feet and legs and everything because you can kind of see just how much it stands out from the rest of the figure. Or statue technically. Yeah, man, look at that. Ah, oh, so cool. That's one filthy lizard if you ask me, man. I'm so glad I'm back with the defo real line at this point. This is just too cool, too impressive, and ah, oh, I would have hated missing this. Plus, uh, unfortunately, I think this is only like the second, maybe the third 67 Godzilla I have in my collection. Next to that NECA and WizKids mystery mini that I have, I think this guy might be my second. I don't own a Bandai vinyl of him, and I think the closest thing I might have to that that is 68. But as we all know, 68 isn't exactly this goofy. But even in calling this lump of bumps and grooves and dorsal fins goofy, I'm gonna have to award this guy three solid stars for paint and detail. What's the third star for? The, the paint is just that good. Leave it at that. And I am very impressed and surprised by the little muddy paint feature that's going on on the bottom of Godzilla and on his thighs, feet, and tail and all that. Yeah, I know. These things ain't everybody's cup of tea. I didn't even think they'd be my cup of tea after all this time, but here I am absolutely falling in love with everything the defo real line put out this year that i bought so anyway size comparisons let's get to it lumpzilla impresses highly while i wouldn't give him a tag as prestigious as one of the best in the defo real line since he's really not all that intricate as gigant titanosaurus or even godzilla ultima he's still a pretty perfect one-to-one -one recreation of the masuko goji suit Musuko. all the little quirks of his design are alive and well and I adore it. Dad Goji over here, he's the black sheep of the Showa era, and he was specifically designed to be dad as fuck, and, well, here we are. An absolute knockout win for the Defo Real line yet again. It's been a great year for this line and my Defo Real collection overall, because I went from two to now one six of them in my collection now and i can only hope more will be on the way next year 
personally really hoping for a Gabara defo reel. I mean, it seems like the time is right. Titanosaurus, Jet Jaguar, now Masuko Goji. Masuko. I think, yeah, it's very much time for Gabra to get his time to shine once more. I think it's just the shape of those eyebrows, the top of his friggin' head, man. It's just so weird. <laughs> and the texturing of the skin on his head, awesome. Fantastic. But any hooser, that's enough out of me. Hope you all enjoyed this review. I'll be back on Friday with another scheduled video. I believe it's a Godzilla video. I think it is. Yeah, it's a Godzilla video for sure. And uh, what else was I going to say? Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button because I look at my analytics and I see a lot of y'all watching ain't subscribed. What's up with that? Am I too cringe? Yeah. Probably, but that's just who I am. I can't change that. And if I try and change that, this is going to get real boring real quick. Accept me for who I am. Cringe. Have yourselves a lovely day, afternoon, and night whenever you are watching this, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Peace.